Hey MySQL learners, this is part of my MySQL tutorial series and I am actually going to be talking about SQL in this particular session. More specifically, I'm going to be talking about create table command and I will be using my ecom store schema that I've been using throughout my tutorial and of course uh, a table creation or a create table command starts with create table keyword followed by the name of the table and followed by parenthesis. So within the parenthesis, the pair of parenthesis, you have all these column names followed by the column data types and followed by the constraints. And you can also use this auto increment keyword if you want your column value to be incremented automatically as you load values to the as you load records to this table and after the column definition you have uh, the option of specifying the keys like primary keys unique keys foreign keys and so on you can also specify the storage engine type as part of your table creation and this is a very simple table you can also have partition tables subpartition tables you can have compressed tables encrypted tables and all these things require special keywords to be used in your table definition and please check my sql documentation if you want more details about the syntax as mentioned i am using just integer varchar uh, data types the MySQL documentation shows like all these different data types like numeric date and time data types string data types like the ones I'm using and JSON spatial so these are all available in MySQL for you to use so let's go ahead and create this table and before creating the table I want to run this drop command just to make sure the table doesn't exist and then I'm going to be creating the table and let's see if the table's been created. Yes, the table's been created successfully. I'm going to be running a select star from the table name to see if I can successfully query from this table as well. And then it returns a, basically it doesn't return anything. That means no data exists in this table. And that's how you create a table using create table syntax. Finally, there's actually a default keyword which helps you specify default values for a certain or for your columns. So if you don't specify a value for this quantity column in your insert statements or when you're loading through procedures, loading data through procedures, it will automatically take this default value. That's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in my next MySQL SQL session.